As national support for the Trudeau Liberals continues to plummet, Trudeau's become even more unprincipled than ever. And yeah, he was already pretty low while desperation is settle, settling in. The term unhinged, I mean, is often applied to his behavior and actions lately. I mean, he's getting outright weird under the pressure. Now he's hinting at going after the assets of older Canadians in a wealth redistribution scheme that could tear the nation to shreds. It's becoming undeniable. His eye is turning towards the capital tied up in individual home ownership, and he wants a piece of it. So at a recent press event, he was asked about his capital gains tax hike, and he had a new low as he tried to stoke intergenerational division and envy. I mean, his last desperate hope in maintaining power in the next general, next general election is to somehow regain the support of younger Canadians who fled supporting the Liberal Party. The rising cost of living has been hammering everybody, but it's been particularly tough on young people. Many economic pressures have been exacerbated due to years of terrible policies, uh, you know, under the Liberals, uh, from government debt, high taxes, low productivity, mass immigration, of course. The, the dream of home ownership for most young Canadians has been shattered. But rather than try and fix the problems of his own creation, Trudeau's trying to shift the blame to Canada's older generation and the wealth they've accumulated over a lifetime of work. But hey, don't take my word for it. Let's listen to the words of Trudeau on his own, or at least I'll read them out. He said, older generations whose money works for them rather than working hard as young people are. Like this is what he was talking about. He's going after those older generations who are just sitting on mounds of money and not working. They're lazy, they're slothful while young people are working and slaving. That's what he's saying. He's implying that older Canadians are living the high life on the backs of younger working Canadians. He overlooks the reality that most of the people who currently have savings or home equity gain them through working their asses off and living responsibly for decades of their lives. But he wants to fuel the fires of envy. And he hopes that young people will become angry at prior generations rather than at him. The hypocrisy and irony are pretty outstanding in this tactic. I mean, it's, it's being used by a trust fund baby who likely has never bought his own groceries in his life, much less had to worry about buying a home, paying rent, or saving for retirement. But he didn't stop there. You know, Trudeau went on to say he wants to somehow tilt the economy to favor a different generation. And again, these are his words. He said he wants to make sure people have done, who have done the best over the past years in a society and an economy that's tilted slightly towards them actually gets retilted towards young people. I know it's an awkward word salad, but again, remember, it's Trudeau. This guy's brain damaged. But basically, he's saying he wants to retilt the economy to fit a certain age demographic. Well, how do you do that? He's hinting at a massive wealth redistribution scheme. The subject at hand is his capital gains tax hike, but even Trudeau must know it won't raise him the sort of funds he wants. Capital gains taxes are proven economy killers. They never bring in the revenue that proponents expect. There is a giant pool of capital out there, though, and it's hanging like a plum, and it's teasing and tempting the spendthrift prime minister. And that pool is the home equity of mature Canadians. If he could just tap it, he'd be able to spend hundreds of billions trying to bind the ele electoral love of young Canadians. The Liberal government's been poking around the notion of taxing equity of primary households for years. The CMHC is a branch of the government, and it's repeatedly commissioned studies on how to tax the home equity of Canadian residences, the primary residences. They've given hundreds of thousands of tax dollars to an activist named Paul Kershaw, who's been lobbying for a home equity tax for years. K Kershaw referred to homeowners as lottery winners who didn't earn their wealth. Yeah, he's, he, he plays right into those politics of envy. Trudeau liked Kershaw's work so much, he invited Kershaw to speak at a liberal cabinet retreat on Prince Edward Island last August. I mean, Kershaw's only a one-trick pony on this issue. The only reason you would have him speak to your cabinet is to try and sell the cabinet on the merits of a home equity tax. Guys, when there's smoke, there's fire. It would appear to be political suicide for the Trudeau Liberals to enrage homeowners by making a grab for their equity. But it has to remember the, the Liberal reign is already terminal in the polls. If they don't do something radical, they face electoral obliteration. They have nothing to lose. And nothing's more dangerous than an animal when it's cornered. Trudeau's twitchy second-in-command, Christia Freeland, mused about unleashing the massive mountain of excess cash, those are her words, in Canadian households during a BNN interview. Again, was it an equity tax she's hinting at? Creating intergenerational angst is a vulgar way to try and retain power. Yet Trudeau's going there without hesitation. Don't think he, he's desperate and deranged. If you don't think he's desperate and deranged enough to go after the home equity of Canadians, just watch him. Think of that old quote. An evil man will burn his own nation to the ground to rule over the ashes. It's misattributed to uh, Sun Tzu, but no one knows quite uh, who said it. But I mean, it's valid and it's a good one and it really does apply. Hang on, folks. He's coming for it.